driver, okay? He crashed so hard last week, he gave himself a black eye. Can he still see his way into the finals? Give it up, ladies and gentlemen, Drake Bell! Drake's face took a pretty bad beating last week, and during training, things got even uglier. Take a look. We have four divers, four levels, three meter, five, seven and a half, and ten. Drake, what do you choose? I'll take seven meter. This is the dive that you're going to be doing on seven and a half meter. I was given the inward one and a half. This was a dive that I'm dreadfully terrified of. Last week during rehearsals, everything that could go wrong went wrong. I opened too early. I just smacked the water with my eyes wide open. It really felt like I hit cement. I came up and I couldn't see anything. I mean, everything was black. Blood was coming out of my nose. I was dizzy. That would probably be a pitch, which means don't sleep for four to six hours. That's what happens when you hit your head real hard. My eyes started swelling up. Oh, it's gnarly. And I was just completely in a daze. Oh, man, that hurts every time. I come into practice, I've got two black eyes, a concussion. I'm spitting blood out of my nose. Every time I hit the water, I burst a blood vessel. Oh, it was just too much. So family continues. Yeah, I've never quit anything. Is this an obstacle that you want to overcome? There's a sense of pride, a sense of redemption. If you want to make it to the next round, then you know what you need to do, right? At this point of the competition, I'm exhausted. I've been beaten down, bloody, bruised. But tonight's the last elimination before the finale. You'll see me next week. Well, well, well. Happy to see you up here. Your face looks great, but you have taken a beating the last couple weeks yeah. in training and in competition. How close were you to quitting, Jake? Uh, you know, pretty close. I, I've, I've come so far and I've accomplished way more than I ever would have imagined in this competition. Um, but, uh, you know, see, seeing how, how, how much Rory's gone through and how much everybody's gone through, you know, I just had to stick with it and, uh, you know, and, and keep trying. Great attitude. Good luck and whenever you're ready. Thank you. Steve, how did you see Drake's dive? Yeah, you know, it's, it's a real difficult act to try and marriage ability versus ambition. I think the reason your inward dive over-rotated was because in the training footage, you were working on that somersault, and you were quite aggressive, and I think it's just a case of your body and muscle memory got a little confused between the inward dive and inward one and a half, so you over-rotated. Yeah. Still impressive, I've given you a six. Thank you. All right, David. How did Drake do? Well, I definitely got to commend him on getting back up onto the platform and actually going through this dive, so I have to give you big props for that. So that's a round of applause. <laughs> now, you can, you can totally see it on your face that you weren't pleased with the dive. You did an inward dive off the seven meter, and what I've seen continuously on this show is that every single time you're in a competition, your adrenaline is ramped up. You have the audience watching you, you're high up in the air, you're about ready to dive, and that's what causes the rotation. So getting that core right here, keeping it tight, going straight through the water, that's what's going to get you the high scores. 
but tonight, since it went over, I have to go with a five and a half. Hey, at least I went in head first, right? That's right. All right, man. So, look, David gave you a 5.5. Uh, Steve gave you a 6. That gives you an average score of 5.75. We'll see if that's enough later on. All right? Head on over to the dive lounge. Drake Bell, ladies and gentlemen. Now, remember, that is only half of his score. The live studio audience will also score each dive. But remember, only the top finisher will be guaranteed a spot in the finals next week. The other three will have to compete in our very first ever three-way dive off. Now, we're going to go over to Drake who's in the dive lounge with Carissa. Drake, you're clearly upset. You wanted to just get your scores. You didn't want to hear what they had to say. And you made a comment. You said, at least I went in head first. What do you mean by that? You know what I meant by that. <clears throat> okay, so that's not the dive that you were supposed to do. No. And you put the pedal to the metal this entire competition. You're the most competitive one here. It's reflected in your attitude. You're not happy with the scores. Why didn't you no, do no, the dive no, you were no, supposed I'm, to do? I'm good with the scores. I mean, I deserve those scores, absolutely. Is the attitude because you want to win this thing, or you're just mad that you've suffered the last two weeks? No, I'm disappointed in my diving. I just, you know, I'm, I'm a way better diver than I've shown on, uh, on show nights. I mean, you can't really blame anything when you've got guys like Rory doing what he's doing with a ruptured eardrum. I mean, he's like a Superman, you know? So. When Tony Hawk stands up there and he says he's afraid, this is clearly a dangerous sport. I commend you for going up there, and I know you're visibly upset with the dive itself, but hey... The judges only count for half of it. The audience also weighs into this thing, so we're going to have to wait and see if what you did is enough to keep you in this competition, Drake. Thank you. Joey? Thanks, Carissa. All right, coming up, the poll is going...